Warren will tip against K.J. Williams, and Murray State will win the tip. The starting lineups for the racers, Tevin Brown, we talked about K.J. Williams, Carter Collins, Justice Hill, they call him Juice, and D.J. Burns. Same starters for the eighth straight game to begin the season for head coach Matt McMahon. And right off the bat, a three-point attempt by Brown off the mark. And here come the Tigers. Lomax behind the defense. The lay it up won't go. Tigers starting five, Alex Lomax, Tyler Harris, Earl Timberlake, Amani Bates, and Jalen Durant. Brown, straight shoot, beeline right to the hole. First bucket of the game goes to Murray State, but back to the lineup for the Tigers. Penny Hardaway mixing things up, John. He's looking for effort and guys that will buy in what he wants. So, again, the big changes for Memphis. And just uh, previously to what we expected, Murray State not afraid. They're going to attack Memphis. Matt McMahon in his seventh year at OBC as Harris unable to knock it down. And a rebound by Williams. Meanwhile, Anthony Penny Hardaway, the head coach of the Memphis Tigers, in his fourth season. Talked to head coach Penny Hardaway before the game, and he really talked about getting back to their identity, which was defense. They've been lacking in that area, really trying to disrupt what teams want to do against them. Second opportunity for the Racers after Juice Hill missed the running layup. Murray State averages 83.4 points per game. They're seventh in the nation in field goal percentage, and they rank 17th in scoring margin. Bad pass there by Juice right into the hands of Amani Bates. To Duran, and a big time slam for the Tigers' first points. Good job by Duran catching the ball first. Good pass, but sometimes the big guys in traffic, that's hard to make that pass and catch it in, in, in transition. But Memphis with a good defense turned into quick basket. No pressure there from Penny Hardaway, but he said a few days ago that he expects to press a little bit more tonight against the Racers. Well, again, we talked, this is a very good Murray State team out of the OVC. They're experienced, they've got some, they've got some talent, they've got a lot of things you got to deal with. Williams with the charge and taking that charge was Earl Timberlake in great position. Good defensive play that time by Timberlake. 17 NCAA tournament appearances for this team as we watch the charge here. Absolutely good job by Timberlake. Uh, KJ Williams just runs right over him. Good heads up play by Earl Timberlake. Easy call. Last, eight, uh, last season, rather, the Racers 13 and 13 overall. They were 10 and 10 in the OVC. They're picked to finish third this year in the Ohio Valley Conference. Timberlake strong with the left hand, no, but he draws the foul. And he'll go to the free throw line, and that foul will be called against D.J. Burns, the transfer from Southern University. Timberlake at 6'6". He is strong and can handle the contact inside. Nice aggressive move. Timberlake, a left hander, goes right at it. Not going to be able to stop him there. Burns a little slow with the feet on the reaction, and Timberlake will get to the free throw line. Tigers half-court offense has been a big part of the problems with that three-game losing streak. Really have not been able to get in the flow, and then defensively, Penny Hardaway wanting a much better effort, particularly with the intensity at that end of the floor. Both teams have struggled at the free throw line, especially recently. Penny Hardaway's team just 67% from the line. Murray at 64.6. Tigers have attempted more free throws than any team in the country. They're averaging 26.3 per game. Timberlake splits the two, and now some pressure from Memphis. Made free throw allows you to put it in just like that. Like Hill was able to split it. Corner three, and that goes for Carter Collins, averaging just 4.8 points per game and shooting just 22% from beyond the arc, but he knocks that one down. Whistle and a foul against Murray State. That'll be on the floor. That'll go against Justice Hill is called for the personals. That's three on Murray State here early. Get good drive. Hill going to pick it up from the backside. Memphis going to attack. So basically four guards in this lineup with Jalen Duran. Here's Lomax for three. In and out for Alo. The game at Ole Miss, the Tigers' last game last Saturday, Imani Bates told Coach he wanted to come off the bench, so he did not start, but he's back in the starting lineup for this one. And the Tigers are just having difficulties with players understanding what their role has to be, not necessarily what they want it to be. Penny Hardaway is finding the guys that want to play the way he expects. See how they buy in the night. Another open three and another made three, this time by Juice Hill, who's shooting 35% from beyond the arc. So Murray's hit a couple early, 6-0 run over the last minute and have an 8-3 lead. 
And now Penny Hardaway calls a couple of substitutions to head to the scorer's table. If the Tigers can find a way to get Duran down low, that's where he's most effective. Harris, he's shooting the rock from distance, and that's the reason why he's in that lineup. When you're shooting 47% from beyond the arc, you want to get Tyler Harris more involved, and he drills that three to make it an 8-6 game. Juice Hill over Timberlake, no. Offensive rebound and the putback. Strong offensive board and putback by D.J. Burns. Well, early on, Murray State has shown you that, again, no fear in what they expected to do to come in here. They expect to come in here and win. Got a very talented and experienced club. Harris down the lane, left it short, but he draws the... <laughs> Mont Sleets, I still have nightmares about him. He lit the Tigers up that night uh, in Murray, Kentucky. Tyler Harris, 78.6% from the free throw line. Hits his first. First start for Harris, back with Memphis this year after transferring to Iowa State. 5'9", senior guard out of Cordova High School in Memphis. This will make it a two-point game. And already a quick five for Tyler Harris. Penny Hardaway talked about a couple of things this week, talking about guys that had a lot of energy. He wanted them in the starting lineup. And really wants a defense that disrupts what an offensive team wants to do. Push them away from where they want to set up on the floor and obviously make sure there's no uncontested looks. Both teams have gone to the bench. Brown wide open, top of the key three. You can't leave that guy open if you're Memphis. And Brown knocks down his 273rd career three. The all-time leader in OVC history, Joe Sibbett at 319. So he's closing in on that. Special company. Again, he's a very talented perimeter scorer. You cannot lose sight of where he is on the floor. The first three off the bench for Penny Hardaway, Malcolm Dandridge, Josh Minot, and his son, Jaden Hardaway. Here's Minot, top of the key three, and he banks it in. Then gives the old, all right, banks are open tonight, I guess. It's going to be your night when you're banking it in for three-point range. 13-11, Murray State. Meanwhile, for the Racers, Trey Hannibal has checked in, running the point, the transfer from South Carolina. Also in the game with the ball, Nicholas McMullen, and he has fouled. That'll be the first Tiger foul here in this game, and they'll call it on Josh Minot. More changes for Memphis, and here come a couple of the veterans. DeAndre Williams, Lester Quinones. Quinones only played 15 minutes at Ole Miss, but Williams and Quinones have been starters tonight coming off the bench for the first time. Kind of like Mr. McMullen out of Ben Smith High School in Greensboro, North Carolina. Why would you bring that up, John? My hometown, Greensboro okay. Grimsley also, where I went. Uh, played against Smith growing up. Very talented young man. Collins, the lefty off the mark on that three-point attempt. Even with the miss, Murray State's at three of their first five. And with 14.38 to play in the first half, the Racers with a two-point lead. So Williams brings up the basketball. I would assume with this lineup, Quinones is basically your point guard. Off the screen from Dandridge and Quinones playing a little sweet music with that three. It's going to be a fun game. Both these teams are going to go up and down again. Very impressed with Murray State early on. Expected them to play well. Only one loss on the year. Tigers on the season just 34.5% from three, and Quinone is at 33%. Hannibal picks wow. up the dribble, and then he fires that one in to the front row over the Memphis bench. That came in pretty hot, I would say. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one that definitely got off the rails there. <laughs> wow. That is the third turnover for the Racers. They averaged 12 a game. Of course, Memphis, it's been much publicized. Their struggles with turnovers, 19.1 per average per game. 20 or more in four of their last six. But so far, they've not turned the ball over. Tigers with the one-point lead after the Quinones triple. Jaden Hardaway, congratulations to him as he Puts up the 
jumper in the lane and knocks it down. He will graduate tomorrow. It's winter commencement for the University of Memphis. Make that Sunday right here at FedEx Forum. And he's graduating magna cum laude. And we had uh, impressive. his father talk to us earlier about that. He's very impressed. And we're impressed with this guy. Another three for Tevin Brown. The defense has to recognize, John, this guy, he's a lethal shooter. Yeah, Brown is good as advertised. You cannot leave him alone. He will burn you quickly. Even at 16. And the Tigers do turn it over for the first time. Both teams very quick, very aggressive defensively. Murray State very unselfish. They'll move the ball around until they find an open shooter. They actually average a little bit more assists than the Tigers do per game, that one assist more. Now under 10 on the shot clock. Brown, crossover to the lane, goes with the left hand. Pretty That move. was beautiful. He's up to 10 points already. That's a difficult move that he made look very easy. Very impressive by Tevin Brown. All OVC performer, first teamer last season. He and K.J. Williams, a lethal duo for the racers. Good inside-outside combination. That time Brown took his outside game inside. Hardaway asked for the screen, gets it. 10 on the shot clock now for Jaden. And Hardaway is going to be called for an offensive foul. The elbow came out. You had Matt McMahon right in the ear of the officials. By the way, the officials for tonight's game, Pat Adams, Vladimir Boyard to Dahl, and Jerry Pollard. It was Jerry Pollard who was right next to him. And now Landers Nolly will make his first appearance. If it comes out just a little bit. Yep, right there. Good call. Clearly try to clear out a little bit on Collins. Only the second in the first half for Memphis. Four for Murray State. A lot of movement and screens defensively. You must communicate and tell your teammates where those screens are and help out. That was pinned against the backboard and the rim. Yeah, and it'll be yeah, Nolly was most of the equipment for the room. That's obviously named after him. A Memphian Cameron Payne, who's with the Phoenix Suns in the NBA, and another famous alum who played basketball at Murray. I uh, remember Jeff Martin, remember Popeye Jones. Quick steal. Don Mann. Hannibal missed the shot and then stole it away from Nolly, lays it up and in, counted, and he draws the foul. What hustle there by Trey Hannibal will get a three-point opportunity. Vincent Rainey's another one from Memphis. In good defense, Hannibal's going to take it hard. Dandridge not able to get by. And uh, give Murray State credit again. Expecting them to play without any fear, out any anxiety. Expecting them to attack Memphis when it uh, was available. And they have done so. And again, when, when they've had to settle for a three-point shot, Mr. Brown has done an outstanding job already in double figures, as you alluded to earlier, Greg. Hannibal has three years of eligibility remaining. Can't complete the old-fashioned three-point play, but the transfer from South Carolina is really chipping in, averaging 11 points per game. 7-0 run for the Racers over the last couple of minutes to reclaim that lead at four. We've had... Four lead changes so far, and the game's been tied twice. Well, you really like to see the Tigers get Dern involved down low with this lineup. See if he can get to his big 6'11 frame down low inside. Three now on the shot clock. Quinones steps back. Front iron, no, and the rebound by Brown. Not a great possession there for Memphis. She mentioned Dern back on the floor. Bates back on the floor as well. Coach Penny Hardaway's already used 11 players here in the first half. Racers' largest lead, five. The Tigers' largest lead was three, and that'll be the fourth turnover against the Racers. Very quickly, Matt McMahon goes to the bench. He'll bring in Deontay Bostic, who started the last 16 games last season and got that year back, so technically a freshman, but with the experience of having played a season at Murray State. Got to get it to Duran right there with the guy on his back. I want to get him down low, close to the basket. Duran spin move, and he's mugged. See if they get McMullen on this one. It could be him or Bostic, either. One more for Duran. And he splits the two. So three for Duran and a three-point deficit for Memphis. Harrison Lomax back on the floor. 
with Nolly, Bates, and Duran. That's the Memphis five. You really have to be aware defensively if you're Memphis. So many, so much movement, so many screens. Williams in trouble with the rock and is able to get it to, to Quan Smith, who's just checked in. Tough pass, and it's stolen by Bates. Oh, Durham was wide open down low on the block. They missed him. Good idea, just a poor pass, but the right idea with him down low. Just read the eyes of Alex Lomax. A three is off the mark by Daquan Smith, but Murray State gets a second opportunity. Under nine and a half to play in the first half alongside John Albright. I'm Greg Gaston, so glad you'd be with us tonight. Get your weekend started. Bostic driving down the lane, the flip and the easy dunk for K.J. Williams, his first points. He averages 18 to lead the team out of Cleveland, Mississippi. Lomax to reverse. He left it short. Good Durant, hustle by Durant. Yeah, great hustle. Harris for three. Got it. All because of the hustle of Jalen Duran and Tyler Harris has his second triple. He has eight points, and Memphis back to within two. Both teams spending a lot of energy. This is going to be a, a, a game where the bench is going to have to contribute for both these clubs. A lot of effort, a lot of intensity on both sides. Brown the pull up. Not that time. And Darren gets the rebound. Both teams still shooting the rock very well. Oh, what a pass! But no look from Tyler Harris to Jalen Duran. Wow! If John Moran was here. <laughs> He would have been standing with the goggles because that one was unreal. Harris, no look. Duran filling the lane with authority. Memphis has tied it up, and you can hear the fans now on their feet. Well, you can't hear them. You can see them. Good job by Bates getting over to knock that ball away. Otherwise, it's going to be an offensive board. And that time, Bates a little bit too aggressive. He'll be called for the foul. That's the first against Amani. That's the fourth team foul against Memphis with 8.01 to play in the first half. Coming right at you again, as you mentioned, the no-look pass. Durant is rewarded for running the floor with a great pass by Tyler Harris in the flush by the freshman. Nicholas McMullen checking back in for Matt McMahon's team. The Dean, believe it or not, at age 43 is the Dean of the OBC coaches in his seventh year with the Racers. A lot of energy. Enjoyed our Zoom call the other day with him. You could tell he's very upbeat, very positive, not only about uh, the game, but about his team. Seven now on the shot clock for Hannibal, running the show, tries to split Lomax and Harris. And Memphis knocked it out of bounds with just two seconds on the shot. 50%. They've gotten six more shots off than Memphis. But this has been a well-played first half by both teams. Brown had to get it off. Air ball. Good Doesn't defense. matter. Shot clock violation. They only had two seconds. Yep. And that was a well-designed play coming out of that timeout by Coach Matt McMahon to get it to their three-point specialist. But that was tough. Good defense by Memphis. Murray State doing a good job man-to-man. -man. They're really aggressive with their defense. Try to, again, force you away from where you want to set up on the floor. But good job with help. Very quick. Nice trap out of that. Nolly. Pump fake. Good look for Bates in the corner. Three is off the mark. Follows his own miss. And stolen by Hannibal. He anticipated that one. Lomax gets it back down at the other end. Rebound by Brown. Murray State's going a little bit cold. Now dipping under 50% from the field as we are tied at 22. Brown pull up over Nolly. Long and then Hannibal knocked it out of bounds. It'll be Memphis basketball. DeAndre Williams will check back in for Memphis, as will K.J. Williams. No relation for Murray State. Penny Hardaway's team, this is a, a really crazy stat. 25.7% of the points that the Tigers have given up come from the opponent's free throws. 
and Timberlake unable to catch up with that one, so Memphis turns it over. That's seventh in the country, John, but so far tonight, Murray State has been to the free throw line only one time, so they've improved immensely, at least so far in this game with six and a half to play in the first half. Turnovers have been a problem for Memphis this year. Only two games where they've had more assists than turnovers. Tonight, much better job. I think they've got five at this point, so that one was the first that was just glaring, kind of unforced error. But they're doing a better job taking care and valuing the basketball. Juice Hill back in the game with two fouls. The only player with two here in the first half. Williams from the wing for three, in and out. Strong rebound by Timberlake. A good rebounder, big size, Ooh. almost yeah, carried I think, that basket. I think he got away with that one. Harris, great dish to Duran, and a block from behind, but they're going to call a foul. And Jalen Duran will go back to the free throw line. But once again, Tyler Harris making it work. That foul will go against Carter Collins. You're right. It's uh, Harris who creates the opportunity. Gets by his man. Defense has got to help. And then Duran gets fouled from the backside by Carter Collins. There's Collins. He's a grad student. Transfer from Davidson. He had a pretty good player that played there one time. Curry, maybe somebody named Curry. I, I think. think it, I think. It, I think you're right. I think it's Curry. <laughs> You bet. Or is that what you had for dinner last night? <laughs> Dern makes the first. He'll get another. Checking in for the first time for Murray State is Jordan Skipper Brown out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Transfer from Eastern Illinois. Who transferred within the conference and did not get penalized having to sit out a year. Everything, of course, got skewed with, with COVID and eligibility and guys getting back a year. So Dern with six. Memphis now five of eight from the charity strike. Collins working against Williams, got it knocked away. Picked back up, and Williams right there, Johnny on the spot, off the window. He now has four. Well, OVC is going to be a competitive league if this is the third team picked behind Belmont and Moorhead State preseason conference poll. Murray State predicted to finish third in the OVC race. Memphis has gone three minutes now without a bucket. Bates to try to end that streak, and he go. does. Everything because Durham had the guys drop back on him to help defensively. Again, unselfish, kicked it right back out to an open Imani Bates who made, it back, made him pay. Nearly got a turnover there was Memphis. Put a little pressure on. Very deliberate bringing up the ball was Juice Hill. Five to play in the first half. Brown, open three off the screen. They do a good job screening for him. Williams, he got the rebound, but out of control, and he throws it away. Murray State adding five players from last season via transfers. But when you bring back Tevin Brown and K.J. Williams, that's a good place to start. That's uh, about 36 points a game you can count on on a regular basis between those two. They're fun to watch. Murray State's a fun team to watch. They push the ball up and down the floor, and they also play hard at the defensive end. Neither team taking anything, taking any time off at either end. Timberlake, great feed, Duran. Wow. A lot of bodies there. Stolen by Timberlake. And he double dribbled. That call made by Jerry Pollard. That'll be the seventh turnover against Memphis, matching the seven for Murray State. Memphis was looking to get in the transition game quickly. Defense has been good. Yeah. Yep. Just he picked just it up. For a second. Good, good pick up by the official. Murray State, one of their last seven. DeAndre Williams the steal, and he has fouled hard. But good sportsmanship by Jordan Skipper Brown, who reaches down to help him up. And Williams will go to the free throw line. Great defense by DeAndre Williams. Yeah, that was a good defensive play. It was a hard foul, but uh, Skipper Brown, uh, you know, he went up and contested. Tried to make a basketball play. Came across, and uh, again, when you're in the air like that, that's an awkward position. Immediately went over. 
helped up DeAndre Williams, but Memphis pushing the ball at the floor when the transition game presents itself. Williams yet the score, averaging 10.4 a game. And there's his first, shooting 65% from the free throw line as Lester Quinones will check in for Jalen Duran. Twelve two run for the Tigers over the last five and six zero over the last minute and ten to grab a five point lead looking to make it six here. And Williams unable to do it and then Quinones over the back. No they're going to call that on oh, wow. McMullen. Wow okay. I thought they were going to call Quinones as well over the back. That's 19,000 now against Murray. So a one and one situation. Now they're actually going to inbound it here. A foul. Yeah, he actually held him. Good call. Good job by our crew. Yep. Good visual there. Good hustle by Quinones. No, I was right the first time. Officials were wrong. They were making an inbounds, but that's nine, so it'll be a one and one for Quinones. Lester, who was instrumental in the NIT run last year, again, only 15 minutes against Ole Miss. Coming off the bench today, misses the front end. Brown gets an open three. No, but Quinones comes back for the rebound. Four to play in the first half. Memphis has its largest lead at five. Timberlake lost control, but got it to DeAndre Williams. Who it's all Alabama State. Memphis going to drop back into a zone. No, actually, they're going to they're give his own look and play man. Meantime, the racers looking to get that offense going again. They started out like a house on fire, and that one's knocked away off Murray State. Great defense by Amani Bates, who's been very engaged defensively here in the first half. Well, Penny Hardaway told you and I before the game that uh, you're going to have to give some e effort and energy at the defensive end. He's looking for everybody buying into what they expect them to do. Much better overall effort, I think, tonight. Murray State averages only 12 turnovers per game. They're up to double digits now, 10 in the first half. Nine now on the shot clock for Timberlake. Boy, he's strong. Eight-point lead for Memphis. Now pressure from the Tigers. We'll back off. Murray State's done a good job handling this Memphis pressure. They've got some experience, and they've got some multiple people that can handle it off the dribble, attacking the Tiger pressure. Mismatch there for Burns as Harris is the shortest one on the court, but playing aggressively on the defensive end. Seven now on the shot clock. Smith's going to pull up, back iron no, and Quinones gets the rebound. Tigers with a chance to open up a double-digit lead. Bates, no, maybe a quick shot, but Williams gets the rebound. DeAndre, pump fake, off the window, no, Timberlake the follow, but they called the foul before the jam by Timberlake. They'll wave off the bucket, but DeAndre will go back to the free throw line as he's hit right in the noggin. Nice job by DeAndre Williams, gets the pump fake. Gets Skipper Brown to leave his feet. And Unfortunately, foul call before Earl Timberlake could finish it off with a follow-up dunk. But like the aggressive play by Memphis on their half-court offense, got an inside smart play by DeAndre Williams. And Williams knocks down the first, will get one more. Landers Nolly will check in for Tyler Harris. Collins and McMullen back in for Murray State. And DeAndre Williams, Lester Quinones, Landers Nolly, all coming off the bench to start this game, if you're just tuning in. And Memphis continuing on this run. It's now a 17-2 run. Well, last couple of minutes are going to be important for both clubs. Memphis clearly with the momentum. They'd like to continue to expand on this double-digit lead. And wow. Murray State with a nice job getting it inside to McMullen. McMullen wide into open. 10-point deficit. Yeah, he was wide open. Somebody missed an assignment there, and that's Hannibal with the assist. Hannibal playing a lot of point in this first half because of the two fouls for Juice Hill. Timberlake, great no-look to Quinones with the little scooper reverse style off the window. Timberlake's causing some problems because he's strong enough to take it inside. 
He's given uh, Murray State some matchup issues when he gets in there. They got to help out. Very unselfish play on his part. Under two to play here in the first half. Memphis owning its largest lead at 10. Collins pump fake. Bates, he altered the shot. Even though he got faked a little bit, he came back with those long arms and altered that shot. Timberlake pulls up from the elbow, and he knocks it down. A little bit unorthodox is that shot from Earl, but very effective there. Timberlake now with four points, two rebounds, two assists. Well, he's provided some energy at the offensive end. 15-2 run for the Tigers. They've hit four of their last five shots. They lead it by a dozen. And they're really deeing up Tevin Brown, who got some open shots early. Brown throws it away, looking for McMullen. And McMullen just couldn't see the pass with a couple of defenders in front of him. Memphis starting to wear down Murray State just a little bit. Murray State did a really good job early in the game getting by the defenders. Now, even if they get by the initial defender, the Tigers' help has been much better. And there's not any easy open passing lanes. And almost all the shots have had to come from the perimeter for Murray State in this game. They have not had the inside combination that they normally count on. Duran and Hardaway back in for Memphis with under a minute to play. Nolly thought about it. Hardaway looking for you. Open, yep. can't open and can't find one. Now Duran with six. He'll pull up. Oh, wow. He has that shot, and he just put it on display for everybody. It's been a big first half for Jalen Duran, who has 10 points. Play clock off. Burns from the elbow, in and out. And here comes Nolly with six seconds to play. Hardaway's got an open three. Air ball. Quinones the steal. And was going to shake up the lineup with Tyler Harris in there, Alex Lomax, Earl Timberlake, and the two freshmen, Jalen Duran and Amani Bates. Duran pulls up short. Tried to go over Williams, maybe force Williams a third foul, but not to be. Well, this is a Murray State team that's got some experience. I expect them to keep their poise. I believe they will find a way to get right back in this game. And if you're Memphis, you just got to continue with that relentless defensive pressure that really, I thought, wore Murray down, particularly the last seven minutes of the first half. Tip by Memphis, but not stolen. Murray gets the ball back. Corner three, front iron, no, off the mark by Collins. And here come the Tigers with Alex Lomax leading the break. Lomax pulls up from the elbow. That's probably not a shot that Penny Hardaway is happy to see there. Same starting five that started the game for Murray State on the floor to start the second half. Juice Hill with the ball. Sat a good portion of that first half with two fouls. Got a mismatch here with Lomax guarding Williams. Good switch back. That's Timberlake now on him. Tough shot by Williams over Earl Timberlake in his face. And if you're Murray State, that is a welcome sight to see K.J. Williams getting involved in the offense down inside. K.J. Williams, two straight years, all OVC first team. That three attempt off the mark. And the ball will stay the way of Memphis. I think Williams was on the baseline. Once again, Duran, a little extra effort, good hustle. Keeps it alive for his team. He's done that a couple times tonight. Freshman does a lot of things in the game. Good effort. As you mentioned, Williams, as soon as he touches out of bounds with the ball in contact, it's immediately Memphis's ball. Harris had a strip by Collins, and then Tyler commits the foul. Quick hands there by Carter Collins. Looks like he'll be okay. Pulls up the sock. Back to his feet. And the first foul against Tyler Harris. Another one of the Carolina's connections for Matt McMahon out of Chapel Hill. Good job reaching in. Carter Collins just strips Tyler Harris and then <laughs> Tyler falls on top of him and made sure he couldn't go anywhere. Racers average eight steals per game. Memphis won better at nine, 9.3 to be exact. Williams down low, double teamed. Hill's got an open three, knocks it down. Juice Hill is second triple of the game. He has six, he averages 11 and a half. 
Played basketball, football, ran track at Little Rock Christian. A couple of hours away from Memphis. Wow. And Williams with a bad foul right there. That will be his third. Yep, and Matt McMahon just looked at him and said, hey, you got to think. That's one that you don't want to foul that far away. Not going to be quick enough to stop Tyler Harris if the contact occurs. And as you mentioned, Williams picked up his third foul. Just not going to be able to get there quick enough. Just ride him. <laughs> Tyler Harris right out of the play. Doesn't no, really no argument. be out there. No he, argument for Williams right. to do it. So Williams remains in the game at least momentarily with the 3,000. In the meantime, Lester Quinones is checked back in for Memphis, replacing Tyler Harris. If you're Memphis, you'd really like to see Duran down low on the block against Williams with those three fouls. See if they can pick up a quick fourth. Lomax looking for Duran. Instead, he finds Quinones. Corner three. Got it. Lester Quinones with his second triple. He has eight points, which is basically his average on the season, 7.9 to be exact. The junior guard from Brentwood, New York, and Memphis has a 12-point lead. Hill inside. Williams, the bucket and the bang, and a great feed from Juice Hill, who's already making things happen here early in the second half. Well, Williams has already doubled his offensive output of the first half. He's got eight in the game. Nice job, as you mentioned, by Hill. Williams knows what to do with it in traffic, and he'll have a chance for the three-point play. But that is what Murray State wants to see, a little more opportunity inside to create balance, not so much pressure on that perimeter game. Again, this is an experienced club. I, I think they'll keep their poise. They've still got plenty of time to get right back in this game, only down by 10. Williams just 57% from the charity stripe. Now went in and out and back in again. He now has nine points. And it's a nine-point game, so Murray State back to within single digits. DeAndre Williams has checked in for Memphis, replacing Alex Lomax. Bates spins, got it stripped by Brown. Out of bounds off Murray State. By the way, that last foul for Memphis was on Imani Bates. He now has two. So Bates with the one triple. He's one for four from the field, all three-point attempts. Williams nearly had it steal. Stolen. Baseline, Timberlake, and a whistle before the shot. And that'll go against Carter Collins. And that'll be his second. Timberlake will keep, give you some problems when he gets it done in there. And Carter Collins has to foul him. Otherwise, Earl Timberlake's going to go right to the basket unimpeded. Well, anytime you go for that steal on the inbounds and your man's going baseline on you. You're probably going to be behind him, and that's what he did, and he reached out. Williams steps back, doesn't pull the trigger. Williams working against Burns. Tough fall away shot. Nearly got the bounce, and then Williams on his tippy toes gets the rebound. Eighth rebound for Williams to go along with nine points. Hill thought he got fouled from behind, and then a block from behind by Earl Timberlake. There's your first block as he blocked Burns' putback. I've well, got to give it to Duran down low. It's an automatic. Now here comes the help. Got to find the open player now. Especially, John, with Williams having the three fouls still in the game. Yep. Bates, scooper. Yes, gets the bounce. Second bucket for Bates. He now has five. Yeah, Memphis has got to do a better job of realizing when Williams is going to guard. Jalen Duran behind him. You got to get him the ball automatically and let Duran try to attack and try to create that fourth foul quickly. Memphis led it by 14 at the half. The lead down to 11. Oh, and nice wide pass. open is Williams. And there's a miscommunication between Duran and DeAndre Williams. Williams so all of now a sudden, double figure. Yeah. All of a sudden, how about a closing in on a double double? We just talked about how important it is for him to step up for Matt McMahon's team. 11 points, 8 rebounds now. Tough shot by Bates. That's his first two-point attempt. Memphis has had the answer every time Murray State's tried to go on a run. Bates with seven now. With tough defense being played on Tevin Brown. Collins wing open three. Ring just, it up for Collins. Just outstanding job there by Juice Hill. Created the penetration. The defense has got to respect him, and he kicks it over to an open Carter Collins for the three. Second assist. Make it third assist now for Hill. 
Bad pass by Duran. Look for the cut history. Matt McMahon trying to follow in their footsteps and in the footsteps of other coaches like Mark Gottfried, Mick Cronin, Steve Prohm, who've all coached at Murray State. Here's Scott Brown Ed for three. Scott Edgar, who opened up Memphis for Arkansas and Nolan Richardson in terms of recruiting. 13 now for Tevin Brown, his third three, up to 275 for his career. Murray State now 7 of 18 from beyond the arc. Memphis 6 of 12. Hill gets the steal. The up and under, no. He missed it. Memphis should have the numbers here. Williams, wow, he got away with. Just out of control. Should have been a Memphis very carry. fortunate. Very fortunate there. Yeah, right place, right time for Malcolm Dandridge. The junior center out of right here in Memphis. One of those East High School players who played for Coach Penny Hardaway when he was winning state titles at East before he came to Memphis. Seven point game. What a difference Juice Hill has made. Finds the open man who finds the open bucket. Carter Collins with his third triple. As expected, Murray State has climbed right back in this thing, only down by four. Composure and again, confidence. It's a good club, Murray State. Murray State shoots 34.5% from three as Nolly pulls up and misses, and Memphis defends the three at 34.5%. Wow, a four-point deficit, chance to make it a one-possession game. Williams runs over Williams, and it'll be an offensive foul on K.J. Williams. DeAndre Williams takes the charge, and that will be four on K.J. Williams. That is a big point, 13-10 to go, and K.J. Williams saddled with his fourth foul, solid play by DeAndre Williams, absolutely established. Picks up number four for K.J. Williams. That is a momentum killer right there. Murray State seized momentum, and K.J.'s trying to go to the hole, maybe a big-time thunder jam and really keep that momentum going. But DeAndre Williams with, so far, the defensive play of the game. Well, so important to send a message to the opposition that you're not going to have anything easy to the basket. Williams off the window, no. Nolly gets the offensive rebound, and a whistle and a foul is called. That'll go against Tevin Brown. That'll be his second, and now 14 fouls against the Racers here in the second half, two against the Tigers. So essentially, Quinone is now running the point for Memphis, gets it to Dandridge. Dandridge lays it up and in. That's one of the reasons why a lot of coaches don't like to play man-to-man -man defense underneath their basket on the inbounds pass. That time, just a slight breakdown allowed Dandridge to get inside. 12 assists now for Memphis. 17 made buckets, 12 assists. That's pretty strong. Murray State's got 14 assists on their 18 made buckets. And they make another one, and it's Brown. <laughs> Give him an inch, he'll take a mile. That's his fourth triple, and Tevin Brown is doing what Tevin Brown does to everybody. 16 points now, 6 of 12 from the field, 4 of 9 from beyond the arc. So it's the veterans on the floor for Memphis. Lomax, Quinones, Nolly, Dandridge, and DeAndre Williams. Boy, Dandridge really asking for it down low, trying to sit down. On his man, Nicholas McMullen, inside. Well, just four on the shot clock. At the bounce pass, Denali's going to have to pull the trigger. He does in and out. Quinones, the offensive rebound. Put back, no. Stuck on eight points now is Lester Quinones. And Memphis now with their first free throws of the second half. 11 of 18, now 12 of 19. So they've left seven on the floor here, or at the free throw line. Tiger's going to go with some full court pressure after the made, second made free throw. Gives them a chance to set their defense. See if they don't trap out of this. Nope, they're going to peel off. Just I would see, I saw, we would see a little more of that with what Penny had to say about the trapping that he planned to do, but we haven't seen a ton of it so far in this game. Well, Murray State's done a good job attacking it, Greg. They've, they've got some baskets in the first half breaking the Tiger pressure, so... That's the best way to slow a team down is to attack it and score and beat it. Well, Collins attacked right there, and Nolly's going to get called for the bump, and Collins is going to shoot free throws. So Collins showing he's more than a three-point shooter as he attacked the rim there. Carter Collins in traffic. Nolly got caught in between, really 
an established position either way, and contact occurs, and Collins goes to the free throw line. Collins in his first year at Murray State now has 10. He averages five a game, so he's already doubled his output. Last year, Davidson averaged about 11 points per game. And a couple of free throws go down, and it's a two-point game with 11 and a half to play. Quinones coming off the dangerous screen. Bounce pass to Williams. No. Strong rebound by Tevin Brown. Hill, wing, three. Got it, and they got the lead. Third triple for Justice Hill. They're on absolute fire from beyond the arc. 10 of 21, and Murray's reclaimed the lead with 11 to play. 53-52. Give him credit. They yep. had, did not panic. Kept their composure, their poise. They were down 14 at the half. Quinones is trying to answer. Can't. He airmails it, but out of bounds off DJ Burns. So Memphis will have it with eight ticks remaining on the shot clock. Meanwhile, Jalen Duran, Imani Bates, and Tyler Harris all check back in for Memphis. They'll join DeAndre Williams and Alex Lomax. In Murray State coming right at you. Juice Hill, range locked in, and Murray State has come all the way back from a double-digit halftime deficit to lead the Tigers by one. 16 assists on 20 made shots. And that was DeAndre. That's on DeAndre Williams. That's a veteran player who throws it out to Harris with a second on the shot clock. He's dribbling and dribbling and not observant of the clock winding down. That is turnover number 10 for Memphis. They've done a pretty good job to this point with the turnovers. Hill, McMullen, that was blocked. Hill gets it back. Nobody on him, he'll pull up. And Dern gets the rebound. Now this is the stage where Memphis needs to get the ball in, in, in high percentage looks. Just because you, you don't have to take the first shot that may be available. Duran again's got advantage down low. And I yeah, think he said stepped one, out of yeah. the sideline. Stepped on the sideline again. That's another just unforced error. Again, this is a veteran player. I mean, this guy's 25 years old, and he's made two straight plays to turn things over. And the, it wasn't his turnover. Obviously, it wasn't a turnover because I believe Harris got the shot off in time. But he put Harris in a bad spot, and then there just and there's a foul by Bates on the floor, and then just lack of days ago there stepping on the sideline by DeAndre Williams. Now, right now, Murray State has clearly switched the momentum. They have carried it to Memphis here in the second half. And Memphis struggling at the offensive end. Nice head fake by Collins. Bates, nothing he can do once he bought the head fake. That's a veteran player, Tevin Brown, making a veteran move right there on the youngster, Imani Bates, who now has three fouls. Memphis four here in the second half. Murray State with five. Just under. 10 to play here in the second half alongside John Albright. I'm Greg Gaston, Memphis in a battle with Murray State. Justice Juice Hill, a sophomore guard at a Little Rock's been a difference maker in the second half. Brown pulls up three, another one. Another one for Tevin Brown, who's on absolute fire in the second half. Memphis was able to wear him down in that first half as the half went along, got physical with him, but now he's getting open threes, and that'll be a push against Murray State, and they're going to call that McMullen. against McMullen. So that's four on McMullen. Keep, a, keep an eye on that. The foul's starting to add up for Murray State, but the lead is four. Well, again, when Murray State's going to play behind Jalen Duran down there in the block area, you've got to get him the ball and force Murray State to either help, which then he can kick it out, or he's going to have to go right to the bucket, either take the shot or follow it up if he misses in good rebounding position. That's an automatic if you see the guy playing behind him down low. Trey Hannibal back in the game for Murray State. Excuse me, John. Ten on the shot clock now for Harris. In the paint. Looks for Williams. Good feed from 
And count the bucket in the bang. Wow. Tenet shot. They're, they're in close. If Williams misses it, he's right there in offensive rebounding position. That's a high percentage play. Unable to capitalize, but that's a good look that time by Memphis that time down the court. Memphis now 12 of 20 from the charity stripe, so 60% for Memphis. They trail by two. Murray has outscored the Tigers in the second half, 30 to 14. Murray State does a good job of spreading you out offensively and then really creating the individual opportunities to drive to the basket or rub people off screens. And Hannibal drives to the basket right there, working on the freshman Duran. Murray State's got a number of players that can, can hurt you off the dribble. Hannibal's quickness causes problems for Duran. He'll get a couple of free throws for his efforts. They've got five or six guys that can all put it off the floor, take it to the rim. We, all, we talked about their, their perimeter scoring, the guys that can do damage there. But they put a lot of pressure on your defense off the dribble. Hannibal has missed two free throw attempts in this game. Matt McMahon's team playing inspired as you knew they would. Remember, the last game played between these two teams was back on December 11th of 2011. So 10 years ago, and Murray State won here in Memphis against the Tigers. A couple of missed free throws, but Murray State out hustles Memphis. They'll get the ball. Right now, Murray State feels that they've definitely got a great chance to get out of here with a win. You can just see the confidence exuding from their players. And if you're Memphis, you really want to regain, obviously, the lead, but get a little spacing because Murray State really has had the momentum here for most of the second half, just like they did the first half. But Murray State led for most of the first 13 minutes of the first half until Memphis had a tremendous run to finish off the half in the last seven minutes of the first 20 minutes. Racers have been 11 of 22 threes in this game, but they've been going to the hole the last few drives down the court. That time, they miss a bunny. Got it in close, unable to capitalize. Bates bumped, gets the shot off. He'll shoot two as he's fouled by Carter Collins, who picks up his third foul. Memphis in the bonus now, but that was in the ax. So it's going to be two free throws either way. But that's 18 fouls now against Murray State. Good job by Memphis pushing the ball up the floor. Carter hey, Collins money, got caught, free money, free money. not able to get in front. Now Memphis is going to have to convert at the free throw line. They're getting their chances, but they have not done a great job of, of, of finishing those off at the free throw line. Particularly here as we finish out the last 824 in regulation. You get to the free throw line, you must convert. These are the first in the game for Bates, who shoots 69% from the free throw line, knocks down the first. So that's the 21st free throw attempt by Memphis. This will be the 22nd as Earl Timberlake checks back into the game. Meanwhile, Murray State had one free throw attempt in the first half. They've had five in the second half. They're three out of six. Bates to tie it up. And we are tied for the fourth time in this game. We've had eight lead changes. Memphis had a 14-point halftime lead, but we're all even Steven with 8.24 to play. Bates now with nine points and the encouragement of the fans. You can hear it here. You can see it at FedEx Forum. A little anxiety here in the FedEx Forum. They have seen a big first half lead eclipsed by the Murray State Racers. Well, they know how pivotal this game is for Memphis. Three game losing streak with Alabama and Tennessee on the horizon. Brown pulls up over Durrett and knocks it down again. Tevin Brown with his fifth triple. It wasn't hyperbole when I said one of the greatest OVC three-point shooters in history. When it's all said and done, more than likely, barring an injury, this guy will be number one on the list. Well, he leads all scorers in this game with 22, and it's his second half threes that are a big part of why Murray State leads this game by three. 12 of 23. Lomax, nice, nice. feed to Durant. Great pick and roll, and Durant slams it down. Memphis back to within one. Great assist from Alex Lomax. And Duran now with a dozen to go along with four rebounds and three assists of his own. And Murray State going to spread you out, try to break you down off the dribble or use a screen. Hannibal fouls now against Murray State. The next one puts the Tigers in the, in the double bonus for the rest of the second half. Meanwhile, Memphis has committed five, so they still have one to give. Bates Lomax 
Harris, Timberlake, and DeAndre Williams on the floor for Memphis. Williams working against a double team. Good feed to Timberlake. Kind of lost his footing there for a second. Williams gets it back. Great wraparound feed, and that was blocked. Tevin Brown with the block on Earl Timberlake. That was a big-time defensive play by Tevin Brown. In the meantime, out of control was Juice Hill. Harris out of control, stepped to the sideline. That is the second time in the second half that a Memphis player has stepped on the sideline. Got to know where you are on the floor. Again, just an unforced error. As you mentioned, that's twice we've seen Tiger players step on that sideline. That is 12 turnovers for Memphis as Landers Nolly will check back into the game. That's just giving away a possession. Mary averages 83, Memphis 76. We're at 59-58. Hill, but that's experience. Fans not at all happy with that call, but it is what it is. And now a chance to make it a two-possession game. Oh, he's short on that one. A rare miss for Hill. Remains a one-possession game as we approach six minutes to play. Racers by three, and now Alex Lomax will sl slow things down for Penny Hardaway's team. If you're Memphis, you don't have to settle for a perimeter shot. They've been really good when they've been patient to get good looks inside. Bates has the height advantage over Brown, but he misses that one wide left. Hill, Brown, he's going to launch another. Not this time. Oh, strong offensive board by Hannibal. Hill open three from the wing. Another one. That's four triples for Juice Hill. This has been an unbelievable display of long distance shooting by a team. 13 of 25 for Murray State. That's the difference. Again, Memphis has got the advantage in terms of number of free throws. And Murray State has absolutely controlled the game with their prowess from the three point range, particularly here in the second half. John, it's 52% shooting with 25 attempts from three. That is absolutely sizzling. Six-point lead for Murray State. Now Memphis has got to keep their composure and their poise because clearly Murray State, that's not a shot you got to have. Nolly misses as he tried to answer and a rebound by D.J. Burns and the confidence exuding from Murray State with each passing possession. Now, you must only allow Murray State one shot per possession. You cannot let them have offensive rebounds. Tigers have gone ice cold. They haven't scored in two and a half and minutes. And you also can't foul them late in the shot clock. You can't give them the shot clock and then foul them. Another three. Good job by Nolly. Hill finally cools down a bit. Harris tries to answer. Does! Oh. Tyler Harris with his third triple. He has 11. I'm looking at my partner. He's he's looking at me going, that's too early. Why are you going to take that shot? Well, it's Tyler Harris. Yep. Well, for Murray State puts Memphis in the double bonus. Next foul for Memphis puts Murray State in the bonus. K.J. Williams back in the game. So it was four and a half minutes is when Matt McMahon brought in his star with four fouls. Brown Travel. traveled. Wow. That's a rarity, and that'll be turnover number 15 for the Racers. And Hill, or make that Brown, doesn't agree with that call. What do you think? Shuffled his feet there a little Just bit. Just a little bit. A lot of times uh, you, you get away with that. It's technically, it is a travel. No, no argument about it, but it comes at a difficult time for Murray State. One possession game. Duran off his fingertips with Williams right there. Now Harris will slow it down. 15 still on the shot clock. Four minutes now on the game clock. Ooh. He thought about it. Now another three for Harris. Not that time. Nice Not a tip job by Duran. Great that, tip by Jalen Duran. That's a big timer. He's got to corral it with one hand, control it, and then put it up soft on the glass in traffic. Memphis back to within one. Duran with 14 points and five rebounds to pace the Tigers. Fans on their feet here at FedEx Forum. Really got to watch Tevin Brown now. 
Collins goes right by Duran, lays it in with the left hand. Collins now with 13. Brown leading the way with 22. And Hill's got 14. A three headed monster scoring. Final for the way to get Duran down low. You got Williams with three, four fouls on him. Lomax, the up and under. I'll make that Harris, and it goes. Great move by Tyler Harris, who now has 13 points. Duran and Harris, the only Tigers in double figures. Under three to play. It's a one point racers lead. Williams open top of the key three. No. And then a strong rebound by Brown. Another offensive board. Second chance opportunity here for the Racers. Hill has a mismatch here as far as the speed is concerned. Williams certainly has the size oh, on good Hill. Good job by Williams. Hill's going to pull up over DeAndre Williams, and he drains it. Are you kidding me? Big time shot, because that was good defense by DeAndre Williams. That's his fifth triple, and Williams can't handle the pass. Well, it's a composure and poise now. Memphis defense has got to step up big. One shot and done has to be the rule for Memphis. Three guys have made all 14 of their triples. Brown with six, five for Hill, Collins with three. Williams has it, working against Williams, double team. Bates came over and helped out. And out of bounds, basketball goes to Memphis. Great job by Imani Bates coming over with that help defense for DeAndre Williams as they guarded K.J. Williams, who got the ball down low. Under two to play, two possession game. Tigers trailing by four. Jalen Duran will check in at the next stoppage. Lomax to Williams. It got tipped, and Brown has it. Thought he had Williams open. That's the senior. Throws it up for DeAndre. Got tipped. Great defense by Murray State. Now Hill will take the air out of the ball. Why not? Cannot foul. Cannot let Murray State run the clock down and then bail him out with a foul. Six on the shot clock for Hill. Working against DeAndre Williams. Great backdoor cut. Lomax blocked that one. Quinones is going to get Duran down half court. So Harris will handle the ball and run the offense here. And you don't need a three. Harris, tough shot. In and out. Williams rebound the rebound. Position. The putback, nice. and he got it. Great job. That's legal. All that's legal as long as it's behind. They get it in to Hill. Hannibal. Doesn't have to score. Good job. Bring it back out. Run some clock. Four ball handlers on the floor for Matt McMahon's team. Now, if you're Memphis and you decide to play out the shot clock and not foul, you cannot bail them out inside 10 seconds. Now's the point you can't foul them now. Going to have to play defense. Keep them off the board. Six on the shot clock now for Hill. Long three by Hill, and he's fouled by Amani Bates shooting a three. You talk about the just, ultimate bailout. That's what we talked about. Exactly. Exactly what we talked about. That's just inexperience. Oh. He launches the shot. You got to hope that he misses, but you can't commit the foul and put this guy on the free throw line. Everything going well, and Bates just out of control. Not much contact. A little acting, a little acting there by Justice Hill, but that's a veteran player making a veteran play. And he shoots 80% from the free throw line. Now he has missed his only attempt in this game. Memphis fans are irate. So is the Memphis bench. But Hill has a chance to make this a two-possession game with 31.4 seconds to go. Conley sinks the first. 18 now for Hill. He and Brown have combined for 40. You throw in Collins with 13. That's 53 between three guys. Makes the second. K.J. Williams will check back in for Murray State. Tyler Harris for Memphis, and he'll replace DeAndre Williams. So it is a two-possession game now, and one more for Hill. Murray State has outscored Memphis in the second half, 45 to 27. And he makes all three. That's clutch for Juice Hill. Memphis has to get down in a hurry. They're down five. 
Lomax will take the three. And he got it. Harris didn't force it, and he found Lomax's buddy for the three. It's a two-point game. Steal. A steal by Lomax. He has it in the corner for three. No. And now Williams is behind the defense, and he will slam it down. Kate. All right, Hannibal will throw the ball in. There he, he goes, the running the baseline. It got tipped. Lomax has it. Williams now. He oh. lost it. Picked up by Harris. He launches from half court and time.